some apple trees. Uh, old Sussex varieties, don't know which ones yet, but uh, no doubt we'll be told. So, uh, it's quite shallow soils, so we're not going down too far because we're into just lots of uh, stone, so just going down into the topsoil. So, uh, and then we're going to stake the trees, put the stakes in first so we don't damage the roofs, and then put the trees in and give okay. them a lot of love and uh, best wishes, wishes and uh, hope they'll grow in, I don't know, 10 years time to grow big apple trees. That's it. Looks like fun. Uh, yeah, it's fun and yeah. keeps you warm as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cold today. So, yeah. yeah. I like the hole. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. going to give a wonderful sort of community focus for seasonal events in the garden. So we'll be planning on having sort of, um, sort of apple days, which they have in other parts of the UK, uh, celebrating sort of the, the distinctiveness and sort of uniqueness of the fact that we've got uh, Sussex variety apple trees. And we can have you know, our own sort of traditions that we can develop, um, sort of um, cider pressing. Yeah. No, <laughs> what else? <laughs> Uh, basically, it's going to be a focus. It's a focus for the yeah. community yeah. to come um, and actually have something that's uniquely and distinctively uh, their own. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. Hi there. Can you tell me why you're involved in the project here today? Uh, well, I heard about it from last week. I was at Stammer uh, and doing an orchard planting over there, and uh, we spoke to John. Oops. Over there somewhere, yeah. um, and uh, basically sort of got us to know about this. And I only live near Worthing Hospital, so Perfect. didn't realise it was so close. To be yeah. honest with you, so that's the reason why I wanted to get involved. So a little bit of community project work. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Um, most of them have come from our, our nursery up at um, Stanmer in Brighton and uh, that's where we're propagating Sussex varieties of apple trees so a lot of them are quite rare varieties and even considered endangered because there's hardly any left yeah. and um, yeah just really exciting that we've got um, some Sussex varieties yeah. that have been grown for maybe hundreds of years in Sussex of course the traditional orchards are now nearly becoming a thing of the past but with the revival of uh, growing local food hopefully that's not going to be the case and uh, many orchards to be planted soon absolutely yeah and why do you think this sort of project is, is important on a community level um so many different reasons i think um whether it's the community building one of the key things i think for our survival is you know reconnecting and working with nature and planting a tree i think is one of the most powerful things you can do with a provide food for up to a hundred years was the case of some of these trees that we're planting today on strong yeah. rootstocks. Yeah. They can produce food for over a hundred years, so it's such a powerful thing mm. to do. Mm. And of course growing our own food is so, so key. Eighty percent of our fruit currently comes from abroad. Mm -hmm. It's a ridiculous thing. England's so famous for its, uh, for its apples and yet we're still importing so much of it. So I think any step we can do to growing our own food is sure. going to be key. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thanks Cheers. very much. Cheers. Thank you.